playing Hogwarts Legacy. Now, don't worry, we have just finished work. So, before we start this game, there's obviously quite a big thing hanging over this game. That's the whole thing with the challenge of the community. Now, I personally don't have any issue with any of that. You can identify yourself however you want. Everybody's free to express themselves however they want, and you are what you choose to be. That being said, I think it's horrible that they're trying to take away the hard work of the developers of this game. It's not really fair that just because the writer's a dick and a complete and asshole, um, for the lack of better words and more expressive words that we could use, that the game is receiving a lot of hate. That being said, I owe myself this game. I mean, I've been a Harry Potter fan since, since, since I was a kid. You know, Harry Potter came out when I was... When did the first book come out? I think I was... About seven, maybe eight, and it just blew my mind. I mean, so many good memories, not just from the books, the films as well. Yeah, find the films deviate a little bit, but anyway, let's not get into too much detail. I owe myself this game, and I owe it to my inner child. I've been waiting for this diligently forever, and I am so looking forward to playing it. And I've also just realised that my mic is actually off. So brilliant, yeah, great start. So yeah, basically there's some, all that stuff that nobody's actually heard. Um, don't support J.K. Rowling and all this transgender bullshit. However, I do support the transgender community, etc, etc. In the gist of it all, it's not fair that they're taking away the hard-earned work from the developers of the game. It's just not. Let's not. Let's be realistic. You know, so don't let one horrible person take away from what is going to be an amazing experience. Let's go. So, let's start customizing. Oh, I like the bow tie, the little dicky bow tie. He looks a bit like me, I think. Do you want freckles? I have freckles myself. About that. Uh, complexion. Oh, I'm very pasty. Funny that. I'm very pasty, however, I do live in Spain. I just can't seem to turn. It just doesn't happen. About there. It's very basic character creation. I've really deviated much from the norm here. Well, oh, there's eyebrows actually. Um, eyebrows, I think that's going to be a nice eyebrow. I have a silver eyes. There we go. It was wonderful. I am indeed a student, but I can A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. It was wonderful. I am indeed a student, but I could very well... A few cobwebs and yeah. some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. 
I mean, I do play a lot of Elden Ring and stuff. I'm gonna go for hard. The landing gameplay challenge. Yeah. Go on. Uh, what are we gonna name ourselves? If you can, if you don't know where that um name is from. That is actually uh, my favourite card from Magic Gathering. Let's go. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the term begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Companion. A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor no, have I. Already the of course, as the other fifth years will have been hurting their magic skills for four years <laughs> now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he Don't is a it. significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It kept me by her uh, own. But with no correspondence. 
I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. God, it's like Harry Parcel Temple all over again. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We do. For the record, I said that that was a dragon. That's such cool detail as well. We just saw him die, and I want to see it definitely. Arresto Momentum! The key! Give me your hand! Are you alright? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. <laughs> so casual about it. It's well and well pushing. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? Just I'm not sure. But nice. that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. And we're up. Come on, let's go. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. Yeah, you look around. Why me some first years. But stay close. We've no Mess idea who created this port key. Or why. Okay, it looks alright. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. No. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Two seconds. Two seconds, this is. Mind your step. Okay, now move this over. Let's boost that up a little bit. It seems a bit slow. Slow. Uh, cool. Okay, sorry. Got a little bit of a drag to it. Where do you sure. suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form um... of ancient magic. No, it can't be. This isn't... <laughs> this isn't where Voldemort hit his sword broke. The locket. Is it? Ancient 
ancient magic. Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Yeah. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Right down to the wind. I was expecting to have to aim with a trigger, kind of like a shooter. Yeah, I'm playing the first set targets for me in the turn, I've played seven cover and two targets. Dragon Death! Destroy her pots! than I'd expected. <laughs> Your one word is improving in every car. Thank you, sir. That'll do, pig, that'll do. I don't know what else they got, but you know. We're close now, it's just ahead. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. Okay, stop 
that enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Just a moment. <laughs> Way, then. Stay close. Well, the camera's frozen. I have to turn it off. After you. And keep your hands inside the car. If you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> to go. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. 
I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... How do I get rid of the, um... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. The if what you can see reveals the way forward, Revelio. then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. There's got to be some way to get. Uh, control rumble of double uh. There's magic map, field guide.
spell hard, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Turn it off completely. I don't know why we're going away. I don't know whether we're bugged or I'm just being a bit thick. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Is this a fight? Look out! Protego! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? Look, this isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? The chest. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Revelio! Lumos! Revelio, Lumos. Okay. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Yeah, let's grab a chest first. Yeah. Revelio, Lumos. <clears throat>
Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Did you? What is this place? I don't know, but I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder.
All is in place. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that... The instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have to. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well... Perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. We're in Hogwarts? No, from Blue Forest. Oh, here we go. This is going to be great.
the loading symbols house. Oh, Jesus. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Of course. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Oh, definitely. I know exactly what house I'm going in. Phineas Nigellus Black. <laughs> Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has. Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. <laughs> if you're lucky, we might voice. still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. How about we just all go down to the Winchester and have a nice cold pint? <laughs> oh man, I didn't realise Simon Pegg did the voice for him. That's brilliant. Professor Weasley! We've one more to be sorted. <clears throat> Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. <laughs> Perhaps you belong in oh, slippery. Oh, I certainly do. Yes. There is no ifs, no buts. I am a Slytherin. You belong in Slytherin! Jesus, bad drop and frame. Oh, I Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. The trophy is just generally not nice, but in a sort of... Quite an entry. Goof. It's lovely to meet you. I don't really have it. It's funny. Um, it doesn't Professor come Weasley, exactly would you be so kind as to show our new student nasty, to their comments? I shall see to it, sir. Not. 
As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. When things change. I suppose some introductions are in order. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig it manage to escape? Badass. It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but oh, not exactly is. what I was looking for. Can I, I make a horcrux? Can I make a horcrux? Every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Rebellion. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... I think I heard one. They have a view that the mermaids lake. find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable Gaunt. arrival. Hmm. Well... If I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. 
Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. I want to think that again. <laughs> Ugh, I'm not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Can you bring man to no wars? Do I try and romance first? Nah. We handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Revelio. Anything? Oh, it is, I won't be going up there. Oh, okay. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. 
I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave Dark here. Wizard. After much discussion Overlord. with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field Super. guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Do keep up. Why don't you cast Revelio on Revelio. that and see what details the field guide can provide? opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. 
You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart this of the is hive. Very different Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil? Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. <laughs> Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Nice. Okay. I think we are going to call it a day. I have been at work for... 12 hours before this so yes I am going to call it a day here but I will be back first thing tomorrow morning to carry on um, and so far so good it, it's brilliant <laughs> but yeah I do I'm quite tired now, so yeah thank you very much for anybody who's popped in and watched even this for a few minutes and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the series we're going to begin through it bit by bit